Moments ago, the attorney from Tom Jurich said they may sue U of L for compensation. They believe Jurich is owed. That scathing letter was sent to Jurich after U of L's board of trustees voted to terminate him with cause last Wednesday. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us live outside Jurich's attorney's office downtown. Mark, what did he say about the termination letter? Well, Vicki, Eric, Tom Jurich's attorney said that just months ago, interim president Greg Postel uh, had a great things to say about Jurich in a performance review, but now he says Postel is trying to smear Jurich's reputation. You won't find in Tom's human resources records at the university any allegation that he ever mistreated any employee. The gratuitous allegation that Tom is a bully is simply over the top and not true. Cheryl Snyder was the attorney for Tom Jurich who addressed the Board of Trustees last week before they voted to fire Jurich. He says the termination letter given to Jurich is full of falsehoods. At one point, the letter reads, Your deliberate dereliction of duties, unprofessional conduct, bullying, and breach of your fiduciary obligations cannot be considered isolated events. Snyder noted Jurich was not implicated in the federal pay-to-play scandal that led to all this. And Schneider refuted allegations Jurich did not properly oversee his coaches and staff. A lot of us can understand if you want fresh faces, you know, uh, and that sort of thing. But that's not termination for cause. That's termination as a business judgment that you want to go in a different direction, as they say in sports. And, and that doesn't justify a two-page letter uh, that's been described as scathing. Now, Jurich's attorney did not want to say how much he thinks that Jurich is owed, and he said there have been no meaningful negotiations for some kind of settlement uh, up to this point. He also didn't want to speak about how Jurich is taking all of this or how Jurich viewed this letter, saying that Jurich will speak publicly when he feels like the time is right. Live in downtown Louisville, Mark Vanderoff. WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. The federal investigation also resulted in the U of L Athletic Association to unanimously vote to fire Rick Patino for cause. The Hall of Fame coach believes U of L violated his contract and owes him more than forty million dollars in compensation. Assistant coach Jordan Fair was also fired. Assistant Kenny Johnson remains suspended.